Right, Riley, unbox the box. <laughs> You're going to have to... It's a box. Yeah, I'll hold it. Go on, pull. <laughs> uh, go on, you pull now, pull. That's it, we're out. Oh, wow. Wow. Let's have a little look. That's what it's going to look like. What do you think? <laughs> looks, looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, let's get it unpacked. Should we do that thing? Yeah. Where you just click your fingers? Yeah. And it's unpacked? Yeah. No, it's not working. You do it. Yeah. You do it. Okay. There you go. How did you do that? Wow, look at all these bits. Look at the engineering on this. That is amazing. Look at these joints. Oh my god, it's it's this is gonna be cool. Let's make sure we don't drop that. Look at this piece here. That is so well put together. Isn't it? Mm-hmm. Right. Let's get it built. Tell you what, I'm really impressed with the build quality of this bike. The instructions that come with it in a really good English as well, you know. It's none of that broken English that you get with some um, some of our purchases that we make, but I'm really impressed with the quality and I'm not just saying that. Um, it's, it's so well engineered. I'll, you know, They've rotated the bolts. Um, I don't know what the reason is behind that, but in here it does tell you it's a pre-assembly note, and it just it says the notched and beveled to suit the bolts in that orientation. So if they fall out, make sure you put them back the same way. So there's a little connection up there. This cable here needs threaded from part two right up and out of this is one A. I think they call this, is it? But the instructions, no, 1B. So 1B's there, but look, every piece of the guide, every step is so well described. You can't go wrong, honest to God. This is going to be probably one of the best builds. Right, let's put it together. It's inside there, there's like a, a little pigtail that goes to that charging point. Just pull that out. And we need to plug that into there. Our sausage fingers. And then literally we just feed that inside. So all comes with part numbers on, even shows you the direction. Just make sure you feed that through so nothing gets fouled. Yeah, that's going well. Part three has a rear disc brake on it and the front brake lever. There's also a cable entry there. Now what we need to do is get this cable through that hole. So with the use of this cable tie, we're going to slot that up there. Come on. Oh, not as easy as it looks, eh? Oh, there we go. I've, I've got it through. Just there you go. I had to bend it a little bit to get it through, but just slid it along. So what we'll do now is we'll slot these two together. So what we do is we align this hole in line with the logo on the side of there, so it's halfway. Did I show you this? These are all the tools you need to build this. Now, this model probably doesn't come with that other, only for Magura bike, brake, sorry. <laughs> Spanner and a screwdriver. 
all your reflectors and bits and bobs. So part four, we need to take this cover off and feed these cables through the cover. So that's the bottom plate off, just there. So I'm going to feed these through now and then we can assemble this bottom bracket. Next section is part six and five, but part six, that's part 20 in it, so you need to remove that. Oh, that does say to leave the sticker on. So we'll just slide, I don't know, take that off. Seems very, very stiff. What we'll do is we'll remove this. This might be foul in it. Maybe we just need to loosen it off a little bit. Yeah. Right, so now we push five onto three. Tell you what, I'm going to tape that to tape off as well. All these bolts come taped just to keep them secure there you go so now I need to make the five line up with the Now we've got that in there, you just need to look down the end, make sure everything looks square. So now we've got in this state, what you need to do is follow a sequence and go right round, tighten up all the bolts. Now the sequence is set out in the, in the, in the guide, colour coded. So I'm going to follow that now and follow these steps here. A little point to make about that tightening sequence these should all be to a minimum of 20 newton meters i haven't got my new <laughs> i haven't got my top wrench with me so i'm gonna to have to borrow cliffs so what i'll do is i've tightened them up pretty well um i've not over tightened them so what we'll do is before we finish it i will go around all these with a with a top wrench and make sure that we get them all up to the correct torque right we're now going to pit, fit parts 7 and 8. Now they slot on to this mortised joint. Now they're going really, really well. These captive bolts go in there. Captive bolts are not captive, what are they? Can't remember. Socketed screws, that's them. I couldn't remember for like this. So you pop two in there, but anyway, you need two four mils for this part of the job. One to hold it, and then one to tighten it up. It is really firm. Now these ones here, I think need a tighten as well. Put the parts on that. But That'll do. Right, we'll do the next one and uh, come back and show you the next part. Now I've got the chain stairs on. We need to put the drive belt on and the seat stairs. And again, they've got arrows on them. So that's where we're going. Get everything lined up first before I tighten everything up. So that's I put one bolt in and get the next one. I'll just nip them up as I go along. And that way everything lines up nice and neat. That's 
both of them in. Right, it's now time to fit the forks and the handlebar. So this tie here is holding all the bearings captive. So when you cut it, just take your time, because that could drop out. So with the fork, there's a little black grommet in the top, take that out. And there's number five, who will go lie down? The number five allen key, just remove this part here. That takes the bolt out and the seal. That there, you can dispose of. That assembly there, you want to keep in some order. And then this piece here, we throw away as well. They're all spare. There's a little dust seal there, keep that on the bottom, slot that through there, and start building this back up, that does feel a bit better, just wondering if that sits on there. sits there there's like a little plastic seal through right so what goes next big collar little collar Later. Took us a little bit of time to get there, but we are in the end. That's nice and smooth. Right, we've added the seat on, pretty straightforward. Just undo that bolt, twist it, connect it all up. There's little markings on there so you can finally adjust it when you get to where you need it. Looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, very good. Part 15. On this card, you're after this bolt and that Allen key. Let me just tighten it up. I'm just going to check something before I go any further. So the motor cable needs to be on the top. I'll rotate that around. So the motor cable's there. All these are flat. These guys all slot in. Hand tighten them at the minute. Take that 
cable goes a long way. Possibly in there. I'm going to jump on the gun there, but. That lines up perfect, doesn't it? Right, let me just show you this part. So this bolt here pushes up against the dropout. In turn, that allows you to set up the tension on the belt. And for me, quarter of a turn is about where I would like it. That also lets you line up the wheel and the drive belt. So that runs true. So if you watch this, the belt isn't wandering at the back. And it isn't wandering at the front. The wheel is running true. That's an iron in the centre of there. So I'm happy with that now. In all honesty, this come from the factory set up like this. Your dropout is flat on two sides, and then you have this R spacer that needs to sit on there. You've got your nut. We'll just run that up hand tight. So, this is the motor cable that comes out the top. Well, actually, it comes out the bottom of the motor, but when you've got the bike this way up, it's on top. That is going to run along there under a cable guard and drop through there and we'll do the connection here. Now we've done that we can just give these a little nip. So these are 40 newton meters when they get the spanners out, when they get the wrench out. Right, let me show you quickly what we've done here. So where the cable comes out the motor, we've fitted the cable tidy, so the cable runs up the inside of there. And we've popped it down through there, and we're just about to make our connections. What we do with that now is just guide it back inside there. We just pop it round. I'm going to stick that plate back on there. And that's that back on. Right, let's put this rear caliper on. So what we need to do is take the bolts out of here. And the Allen bolts that are secured in it. Work it up onto the disc. Line the holes up. Let's see. It spins freely. I'm happy with that. So we'll nip it up there. Again, what we'll do is when we're finished, we'll go around. We're going to tighten everything up before we actually take it all out. So the bike's come with a kickstand, so I've stuck that on as well. It's, uh, it's not a bad little bit of kit. I'll show you. I'll move you away a little bit. So, sure we'll get a bit of use out of that. <laughs> Loosen that off. Again, take the little spacer from the disc in front, start offering it up, make sure you get the pads, the disc in the centre of the pads. Feed that through, and tighten it up. That's it. You like that stand? <laughs> what more could you want? To look on the part. Just this bit to finish off now, I think. For now, we've taken off the handlebar grips. Um, two little Allen headed bolts in there, number threes. So we'll put them to one side, or your rear one wants to go. <laughs> Around onto there. Have we got any room on it? Move that around a little 
little bit. Slide that up. And just a little bit. About it. Again, you can do the fine tweaking later. I'm happy with that. So we just need to plug this together. Waterproof seal on it. Oh my god! <laughs> it takes a bit of forcing together that, but it does go. And then what we want to do is take that off there. Feed that in and just dress that along the side of the brake cable, just like that. Now, I think there's a cable tidy for there. It's just time to put the pedal on. Now, these go on the opposite way to what you think, everything's reversed on them so they don't unwind. They're still pedaling along. Putting the pedals on, and that's it. Job done. Right, moment of truth. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Look at that. So there's eco mode. Two, normal. So I'm pressing that little button. That's taking me through tour, power, and then boost. That's it. Cool. Cool. It's time now to go around and tighten, make sure we've got all these bolts torqued to the right setting. There you go, it's 20 newton metres. I think you'll agree that was a very easy bike build and while you're building the bike you get a knowledge as well. If anything's to go wrong with this bike you would probably know how to fix it or where on how to change it. So I think you gain a little bit of knowledge as well by building the bike yourself. Over this couple of weeks now, I'm absolutely loving it. I think it's a great addition to our toys and in the garage there. <laughs> but I'm feeling the benefits as well. And that's what all this was about, to get me back out on the bikes, to start enjoying things. And I am absolutely loving it. In the next video, I'll show you what other people think of it. Thank you for your continued support. If you like what we're doing, consider subscribing, liking and sharing with your friends. Also, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.